This contains strong language, sexual scenes, and references from the outset and throughout. Gaz is leaving us because he's having a baby boy. I'm so happy for him. At the same time, I'm sad that he's not going to be here to say goodbye. Obviously, I walked in this house with Gaz. When I've come in this time, he's not here. It's so fucking weird because literally me and Gary were joining at the hip. He's leaving because he's going to start a new chapter in his life and he's having a baby. I already feel lost that he's not here. I'm lucky enough to have said that I've knew Gary since day one of Geordie Shaw. So I actually know the real Gary. He's starting a family of his own and he's going to be the most amazing dad. I can understand why Gary is leaving. It's just such a shame because he's a massive part of the family. Like we're all going to miss him so much and I feel like it's going to leave a massive hole in the family. I don't think anyone will be able to replace Gary Beadle. He's literally irreplaceable. I think there's going to be a lot of boys who will try and fail. The whole house is going to miss Gaz not being here because he's the person to go to for advice. He will just tell you how it is. If you're in the wrong, then he will soon tell you. He was very positive and I feel like whenever I fell down, I would go and have a chat with Gary and it would always lift us up. I feel like he always gives the best advice ever and that's what I'm going to miss most. I think the house is definitely going to miss that father figure. Like Sophie's the mom and Gaz was always the dad. Obviously I'm there to help. But Gary is the best at giving advice. Gary was the ultimate prankster and he loved to prank everyone. So the house is going to be at a very massive loss. I have loads of memories with Gary, but when me and Gary first started the show, we used to call ourselves the tripod. So the tripod used to be like Gary, Charlotte and me. And if anyone fell down on the tripod, whether it be Charlotte or me, who was having a bad time, would always pick herself up. Gary was in this house when I first walked in and I found it really tough with the girls. So Gary was one of the people who kind of helped me through it. My best BFF moment with Gaz is on my birthday when he gave us that huge picture of me and him that is going to be going up in my house as soon as I get one. The most annoying thing he used to do was get a cup, get an ice cube, throw it in the air and catch it. How many fucking times can you see an ice cube fly in the air and him catch it? The most annoying thing and very repetitive and very boring. The only thing that used to annoy us with Gaz is when he used to bite his fucking fingernails because it's absolutely disgusting and he would do it every day. You would always forget the stories he told us. So he used to repeat the same stories over and over again and it was so annoying. My parting message for Gary Beadle, you will always be loved. You will always have a place in this house. You'll always have a place in our hearts. Big, big love to you, Gary. You are going to be a massive miss. Good luck on being a dad. I know that you're going to be the best dad ever and we will miss you so much. Although I didn't get to meet you guys, the other people in the house spoke of you dead highly, so hopefully sometime me and you will be able to go for a pint. It's such a shame I didn't get to meet you guys, but all the best. I hope you and Emma are very happy and I can't wait to be an uncle to your newborn baby. Love you, mate. What the fuck? I thought you would have had about 40 kids already. But no, he's going to have this amazing, beautiful little boy. And I just hope to God that he invites it to the christening. And remember, guys, if you ever need a babysitter, I charge £50 per hour. <laughs>